Ricker and Schwender could win this game with Riga sitting on the bench. Three pins, nothing at this point. That's count, that's one bad shot, that's one bad break. Riga Kaufis needs to strike here in the all-important ninth frame to put any pressure at all on Ricker and Schwender. It's close. Golly. Back to back, solid sevens. What are you going to do? Light Beer, the light beer with Cincinnati style. This bowling show has aired in Cincinnati for the past 29 years. It's the longest running locally produced entertainment show in the market. It recently completed still another successful 12 week run on CBS affiliate WCPO. Bowling and television are a very successful marriage. Jim Spence, the longtime vice president of sports at the ABC Network, wrote in his recent book that bowling outdraws college basketball on CBS and NBC and just about anything else the other networks throw against it. Among the key reasons why, he writes, are the stepladder format and the fact that people who bowl, and there are more than 60 million of them, love to watch the professionals in part because the pros are much like the fellow next door and have preserved the outstanding image of this sport. Here is one of several new camera angles introduced by co-producers Roy Alpers and Dave Newrath, whose company, New Productions, Inc., gives the Cincinnati show the very highest production values. Easy to read scoring graphics, and again, those provocative new camera angles generated successful ratings and a flattering review from the Cincinnati Enquirer. Legitimate, excellent bowling, proven rating success, and a fiercely loyal viewing audience that will be watching their favorite sport just as they're catching the fever for their own winter leagues. For the bowling proprietors, for the stations, and for the advertisers, this one will deliver. Thank you very much.